Didn't have game sounds on. Gul'dan versus Jaina. Jaina. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. This is kind of a bad hand. I want a mulligan for anything else? I don't like keeping wolf. Power overwhelming is definitely a dead card. There we go. There's a one and two. We're gonna need a fast start if this is mech mage. If it's some sort of control mage, then I have no idea. <sighs> but if I had to guess, it's probably mech mage, so we need something to mech warper. And thankfully we do. We have a pretty solid turn one into turn two. And if he has a slow start, then we kind of, with this hand we kind of win. Because Haunted Creeper Abusive Sergeant is super strong in the aggro game. If he just coins out like a 2 1, right, he's coining out a 2 drop. What's he just going to cross Alright, so it's a 2 1. Alright, so against that, we're just going to play Haunted Creeper go face. Now, Loot Hoarder, that's either, this is either Rush Mage or it's some sort of uh, Frost Mage, in which case we could lose this one. It's, looking, it's not looking like some sort of a Rush Mage, that's for sure. This time I'll probably clear it. We'll hope for a better drop. There we go. We tap two, see if we get a better choice. Ooh, that's a really good card to get right now, with one ones on the board. That helps with our control game a bit. So now we can either do 3 4 damage, 3 5 damage, 4 6 damage. Oh, that's such a... it just, having 1 1s is really valuable because it lets you do all different kinds of number damage, which can be nice against something like Sludge Belcher. It's turn 3, no coin. So. The end is coming. I got a Doomsayer. We can actually kill that. Is it worth it though? So him Doomsaying means he probably doesn't have anything else. We can kill that. See, look at that. How nice it is to have little things of damage. It's it's beautiful. I probably should have play, played the Abusive Sergeant there, to be honest. Actually, I could have Iron Beak Dowel and just gone off face. That, that would have saved me 7 damage, but I did exact damage, and a Silence can be more useful later. Since this is like a Freeze Mage kind of thing, they tend to run slow cards. They could have a Death Lord or a Sludge Belcher is devastating in the Zoo matchup. And we're coming up on the Sludge Belcher turn. If he doesn't play anything on this turn, I'll be somewhat hesitant, but I don't have to worry about AoE until turn five for, or turn six for Blizzard, turn seven for Flame Strike. So we have three turns to just sort of go phase. You have eleven damage on the field. We have seven damage on the field. <laughs> six damage. Five damage. Alright. I really sort of hesitate to play Doom Guard right here since we have good cards in hand. But it's probably the best time because we want to start rushing him down. Hopefully, we'll throw an owl and abuse of oh, thank goodness. Implosion was the thing I didn't want to lose. Because this is the Sludge Belcher turn, and we can do really well against the Sludge Belcher right here. Plus, it'd be really slow for him. Frost Nova. And a Doom, into Doomsayer. The, the classic. Here's <laughs> where we don't have the owl. So unfortunately, he is slowing us down a lot. I feel like we probably already lost this game. Since he's got the double Frost Nova. He's going to get the double draw from that. But that's a good card for Imp Gang Boss to go up against. But I don't want to put 1-1s one out there, like, like Haunted Creeper. Let's tap to see if we get something else. No, we don't want to play either of those into this guy. I guess either way he gets 3 draws if he really wanted to. But. Plus it's turn 7, you don't really want to go overboard. Because it's like from here on out you have to understand like there's always the concept of Flame Strike. I think Flame Strike, they run one of it in Freeze Mage. I think they won one Flame Strike and one Blizzard. Let the pain speak to me. I'll show them. I'll show them all. So he goes for the draw. We'll give him the... Hmm, actually... We might not want to... No, we definitely want to. Oh, 
We're not going to win the slow game. I don't want him to get a free seeker now. Our chance to win is basically rushing him down before he can get any shenanigans going on. 13 damage on the board. So we could prop an ice block. Get it out of one health. And then we don't have any direct damage. No dark bomb, so we have another charge. Even if he flame strikes, we have a pretty solid board. A 5-3, a 1-1, one, one, three 1-1s. One, ones. Maybe he takes a free trade with the thing, but he'd probably be better off not doing that. Well, I guess it's his best choice. Blizzard's actually pretty good for us, still. Oh, you see, look at that, it froze the imp, isn't that something? See, he goes face, it's kind of weird. Notice it froze the imp. I've been told that if you swipe the imp, it'll kill the 1-1 one, one afterwards. It'll deal 4 damage and then kill the 1-1. One, one. But I didn't assume that when it blizzards, it would freeze the 1-1. One, one. Maybe we tapped into exactly the right there. <laughs> Double fireball in his hand. Yeah. Try not to be salty. 